Hi guys, today we're gonna clean a trumpet because sometimes trumpets get dirty and they need a good cleaning. And this is the place that's gonna show you how to do the cleaning on the trumpet. It's gonna go great. Now, make sure you take out the mouthpiece and the first thing we're gonna do is disassemble. You can take out the valves. See how fast I'm doing that? That's amazing. Gosh, I'm good. Then you take out your slide. Take out another, oh, what? Yeah, take out the slide, the third, oh, wow. I didn't expect that to come. Take out another slide and then oh, take out more slides. And then really, really fast, you can take out these valve caps. Grr, so fast. Grr, so fast valve caps. It is taken off. And now you have a disassembled trumpet ready to go in the bath. Oh, I had to move that because that's important. Now we got the tools that you're gonna need to clean your trumpet. Of course, there's the snake brush. And we got that brush. That brush we don't really need. That brush is important. This little tiny brush, well, I don't know. You probably don't have one. But those are the main things that you need. The fluffy brush and the triangle brush and a rag. There's a rag right there. Rags are good. And there's some slide grease and some valve oil. The other things don't really matter. So then you get the bathtub going and you put your trumpet in there and you make sure you have everything where it needs to be and you got your slides and your valves and your valve caps and everything's all nice and orderly and you turn on the bath water so that the trumpets are completely submerged not too hot not too cold after it sits for about 15 minutes you're going to want to because you want it to soak a little bit you want the stuff inside to loosen up you're going to take your snake brush and you're going to go through the lead pipe I like to go through the same way the air goes. So start at the beginning and push all the crud out towards that other side. There you go. Now, if you've never done it before, this could be really disgusting. There could be a lot of stuff in there. Rinse off the brush, let some water go through the lead pipe. I like doing it when it's in the water. That way all the gunk is sort of washed away. Make sure you do it on a towel so that you don't scratch the trumpet. My favorite towel is burgundy. And then go through, you can see these other tubes. Go ahead and put the brush in and out of all the other, you know, where your slides go. Go ahead and go in and out of each of those tubes to get them all nice and clean. After you do that, go ahead and get your other brush. This brush is the, the bigger brush and go through each of your valve casings, the top and the bottom. Just get all that crud out of there and rinse it off really nice. And then what I like to do is take the snake brush and go through the bell is it'll it'll reach it'll go all the way around you go through the bell and you push all the way through here take a look at this if you look through your first valve casing the brush will actually reach all the way through there you want to make sure you get all that crud that could be in between the valves and then rinse it out real good and then you want to go through and take care of all the slides themselves so i like to start with the tuning slide and run the snake brush through there it usually works better if you run the snake brush through the bottom because it has the spit key. And so, you know, you can go in and out, back and forth a little bit, get all that gunk and stuff out of there. Just make sure you do it with all your slides. And yeah, not some of them will be worse than others. When you grab your valves, you can take your snake brush and go in and out of the holes. You know, this is where the air flows through. Did I just miss? Wow. Anyway, go in and out of the holes and get some of the gunk. Anywhere the air flows, you're gonna have some sort of buildup. So you can do that with all three of your valves too. Grab your rag and go through each of your slides and wipe off all the old grease and the grime and the stuff that was in there. Wipe off the brass, the gold color part and wipe off the silver really nice. Try to get in the crevices and in all the little corners. I try to be fairly particular about this because I want my trumpet to not look terrible. Around the spit key, anywhere you're gonna have extra water, it's going to tarnish. If it's a silver horn, it's gonna have extra gunk in there. So you can open that up, and get in there as good as you can. You can be as particular as you like. Go through all your slides, get all the you can fold the towel up and you can get in between each of the slides as best you can. You see how I'm getting in between the slides to get all the gunk out of there. And just do it with all your slides. Get in the middle, the, uh, wherever the grease is gonna build up, you can get the, the fronts of the slide. Like you can see I'm getting the, 
what do you call it? I'm getting in between that crevice there. You can pull the towel all the way through. Gosh, that's just way too particular. None of you guys are gonna do that, are you? And then get the fronts of each of those too. You'll be surprised how much buildup is on the front of each of those slides. And then grab your valves, do the bottoms where the buildup's gonna occur. Wipe them off really, really nice so they look brand new. Uh, then grab your valve caps. The insides of the valve caps can get really, really gross. Get all the extra gunk. And then grab your rag and go through the body of the trumpet. I like to start with the bell. Clean the bell up really, really nice. Get all the silver. Polish all that up really, really nice. Get all the extra junk. Especially any place where you're going to have water accumulate on the, on the, on the silver. It's going to get gross. Push the push the uh, towel through all the little crevices if you want to be as particular as I am. If you don't, whatever. I mean, this is just the way the trumpet looks. It's probably not going to hurt anything. But, you know, take care of your instrument. Uh, he's again pushing it through the, uh, the valve casings, in between the valve casings. Just anywhere that wouldn't normally get it. And then the mouthpiece. We had the mouthpiece brush before, the mouthpiece brush. It's a smaller triangular shaped one. I have this tiny mouthpiece that I like to go through the top. If you don't have a tiny brush like that to get through the top and your triangle mouthpiece doesn't fit, go ahead and use a Q-tip. And then go ahead and wipe it off real nice. We got the whole trumpet here. We have all the slides next to it. Blitz Silver Care Polish is really nice if you have a silver trumpet. I'll talk about that more a little bit later in the video. You can add a nice shine to your horn. You can apply it with, I use these premium cotton rounds, they're just cotton. So we got the horn in front of us. We gotta reassemble the whole thing. You're gonna wanna go ahead and grab your slide grease and apply that to all the brass. That's the yellow colored part. And try to, it's a, just a thin layer of grease that you're gonna put on there and try to do it evenly over the entire, like try to cover the whole surface area. When I do this, I'll go back and put it into the, into the trumpet just to get the slide coated evenly around the entire surface. And then when you do this, if you used a little bit too much grease, wipe off the excess grease. I'll go back in here on the top and you see how I move it up and down and around. When you put it, when you put the tuning slide back in, lift that top part up slightly most trumpets are designed, it'll go in easier that way. But go through with all your slides, just put a very thin layer of slide grease and evenly distribute it over the entire, you know, wherever you have metal on metal, you want to use grease to keep it from sticking. You can also take a little bit of grease and put it on the valve bottom caps. This also keeps, you know, again, anytime you have metal on metal, there's a chance that that metal starts to bind and stick. You know, that buildup on there holds it all together. So I put a little bit on the threads before I screw the, the valve caps back on. I'll do this with the bottom valve caps. And even though it's not really necessary, oh, I got my third slide. I forgot to put the rings on there. You can put a little bit on the a little bit of grease on the threads here if you want. I don't. But don't forget the to thread those screws on your bottom on your third slide, otherwise your third slide will fall out. You don't want that to happen. But finish up, put your valve caps on. And I don't normally do it, but you could do it to the top also. I feel like the top, you take the valves out enough to oil them where it doesn't usually stick, but you can put a little bit of grease on where on you know the threading. So then with the valves, you want to make sure for most instruments you're gonna see a number on it. This has the number one, as you can see. You want the number one to face where the mouthpiece would go in. 
it faces the front of the trumpet. And that's how you know it's lined up in the right way. Then you're gonna have a two for the second valve and a three on the third valve. That way you don't have to guess. The number, almost all trumpets, I got other trumpets that don't, all of them are gonna have the number facing that direction. When you oil it, I like to oil it in three parts, above and in between and then below where those holes are gonna be, just so there's no dry spots. So the oil is uniform. And when you put it in, you're gonna notice that if you turn it side to side, it's gonna click in place, and that's what you want. Then screw them on, and you have a fully assembled trumpet. Make sure the valves go up and down. You can test it. Uh, make sure the air flows through the horn and wipe off any extra water drops or any extra grease that you might have, any grease residue after you've applied it. Uh, you can wipe it off with a paper towel too. So this is like the bonus portion of the show. I have this really old mouthpiece. You can see it's black, it's tarnished, and one of the best silver care products I think is the Blitz Silver Care Polish. It's super non-abrasive and it's it, it's not going to it's not going to hurt your trumpet like other more abrasive products will do. So you put a I use a cotton pad like this, put a little bit, that's probably way more silver polish than I need. But you just start to apply it and I like to use a cotton pad because it's not going to hurt the silver, it's not going to scratch the silver. You want to make sure you're using something that's not going to scratch it. And look at all that black that comes off. I'm always amazed every time I use it because it just takes so much of the black off of it. That's the way silver is. Silver oxidizes with the air and it turns colors. So I use one to apply the polish and rub it. Then I take a clean one to wipe off all the excess. But just follow the instructions. You can see how much shinier it is after you polish the thing. If you have a silver trumpet that's turned purple or black it's with tarnish, Blitz Silver Polish is one of the least abrasive products uh, that does a really, really good job polishing the silver up without scratching the silver. So, you can, I mean, it, does, it, it, does, it just does a tremendous job. I mean, look at how shiny that is. If you do the inside of the mouthpiece where the lips touch, I'll give you a warning, the Blitz Silver Care product does have an extra coating, a shine coating over top of it. So it takes the tarnish off and it coats it. So if you're playing on the mouthpiece and you do it on the part that touches your lips, the inside, it'll make it look really, really pretty. But it's also going to, you're gonna feel that coating. It's almost like a greasy coating. Now take a look at this. Compare that to what it was before and what we have now. I mean, it, it's, it's a night and day di difference. Like, this is just the nature of silver. So, if you guys have any questions, post it in the bottom. Thanks for watching, and take care of your horn.